हेलो गाइस आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज यूविया आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर पार्ट ऑफ यूविया एक्सेप्ट ए पार्ट पार्ट्स प्लेसेटा बी पार्ट पार्ट्स प्लेना सी पार्ट कोराइड डी पार्ट सेक्वेल लाइन सो आवर आंसर इज सेक्वेल लाइन Our second question is: One of the earliest feature of anterior uveitis includes keratic precipitates, second hypophion, C part posterior synechae, D part aqueous flare. So our answer is D part aqueous flare. Our third question is: In anterior uveitis. the people is generally a part of normal size b part constricted c part dilated so our answer is b part constricted our fourth question is copy nodules are found in a part cornea b part sclera c part iris d part conjunctiva our answer is c part iris fifth question is aqueous humor is formed by a part epithelium of ciliary body b part posterior surface of iris c part lens d part pars plana so our answer is epithelium of ciliary body question number 6 is secondary glaucoma due to acute attack of eridocyclitis can be managed by the following except a part corticosteroid b part beta blockers C part carbonic and hydrase inhibitors D part myotics so our answer is D part myotics question number 7 is aqueous humor is secreted by A part cilius eruditus minor B part ciliary muscles C part ciliary processes D part iris scripts. So our answer is C part ciliary processes. Question number eight is the differential diagnosis of acute eridocyclitis includes the following conditions except A part corneal ulcer, B part open angle glaucoma, C part acute conjunctiva d part angle closure glaucoma so our answer is b part open angle glaucoma question number 9 is a middle age female with recurrent joint pain grave past history of recurrent attacks of pain redness and dropped vision in one eye recent she complaint of similar attack the most important diagnostic sign of activity is a part festooned people b part aqueous flare and cells C part pigmented KPS D part patches of iris atrophy so our answer is ninth B part aqueous flare and cells question number 10th is markans gun people indicated disease of A part lens B part sclera C part retina D part optic nerve so our answer is D part optic nerve question number 11th is 
द मोस्ट डायग्नोस्टिक साइन ऑफ एक्विस यूविटाइटिस इज ए पार्ट एक्विस फ्लियर बी पार्ट कैरेटिक प्रेसिपिटेट्स सी पार्ट कंस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ पीपल डी पार्ट रेज्ड इंट्रा ऑक्यूलर टेंशन सो आंसर इज बी पार्ट कैरेटिक प्रेसिपिटेट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्थ इज एमोटिक आई कैट्स आई रिफ्लैक्स इज सीन इन ए पार्ट पेप्लियोडियोमा बी पार्ट रेटिलोब्लास्टोमा सी पार्ट पेप्लेटाइटस डी पार्ट रेटनेटाइटस सो आवर आंसर इज बी पार्ट रेटिनो ब्लास्टोमा क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन इज Out of following, which is the short-acting midriatics? Options are A part, tropica amide; B part, homoatropine; C part, cyclopantolate; D part, atropine. So, our answer is A part, tropica amide. Question number. Fourteen is D-shaped people is seen in A part aridocyclitis, B part aridodialysis, C part glaucoma, D part dislocation of lens. So our answer is B part aridodialysis. Question number fifteen is uveitis is correct. Traced by all except a part mucopurulent discharge, b part small pupils, c part moderate pain, d part marked tender tenderness. Fifteenth a part mucopurulent discharge. Sixteenth small pupils are seen in a part. Argel's Robson pupil, B part Edie's pupil, C part third nerve palsy, D part midriatic drop installation. So our answer is A part Argel's Robson pupil. Question number seventeen is during accommodation. All of the following changes occurs, except a part pupil contracts, b part anterior chamber shallows, c part lens become thinner, d part anterior and posterior surface of the lens become convex, e part lens sinks down. So, well, our answer is c part lens becomes thinner question number 18 is features of erythrocytes includes all of the following except a part small pupil b part normal pupil reaction c part ciliary congestion d part aqueous flare e part loss of iris pattern so our answer is normal pupillary reaction Question number eighteen is commonest cause of vitreous hemorrhage in a young adult is a part diabetes, b part trauma, c part peripheritis reunic, d part central retinal vein occlusion. Our answer is trauma. Question number twenty is. All of the following statements about the treatment of acute anterior uveitis are true except a part midriasis is important b part steroids should be avoided c part it is usually not necessary to admit the patient to the hospital d part investigation for the systemic disease are often negative our answer is b part steroids should be avoided 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन इज द अर्लीस्ट फीचर ऑफ एंटीरियर यूविटाइटस इंक्लूड्स ए पार्ट कैरेटिक प्रेसिपिटेट्स बी पार्ट हाइफोन सी पार्ट पोस्टेरियर सिनाचे डी पार्ट एक्विस फ्लेयर सो आवर आंसर इज डी पार्ट एक्विस फ्लेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू इज डायलेटेड पीपले इज सीन इन ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एक्सेप्ट पोंटाइन हेमरेज बी पार्ट ऑप्टिक ट्रॉफी सी पार्ट एक्यूट ग्लूकोमा डी पार्ट पेप्लेटाइटस आंसर इज पोंटाइन हेमरेज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू इज Drugs of choice for acute aridosyclitis is A part acetylazolamide B part atropine C part antibiotics D part aspirin our answer is B part atropine Question number 24 is aridodialysis is A part iris is broken from ciliary body B part hole is hole in iris c part tremulousness of iris d part all of the above our answer is a part iris is broken from ciliary body question number 25 is atropine sulfate 1% drop or ointment should be used to apically in A part acute conjunctivitis, B part chronic conjunctivitis, C part arteritis, D part acute congestive glaucoma. Our answer is arteritis. Question number twenty six is commonest cause of posterior staphyloma. Options are A part glaucoma, B part retinal detachment. C part aridosyclitis B part high myopia so our answer is D part high myopia question number 27 is the following are the part of uvea except A part bowman's membrane B part iris C part ciliary body D part choroid our answer is a part bowman's membrane thank you